Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to build the Astute class submarine which is used by the Royal Navy. So this is our kind of uh, our attack submarine. It's a bit bigger than the Trafalgar um, as you can probably see. It is in total 97 blocks long, uh, 17 wide and 23 high. So this one's actually quite a bit bigger so the Trafalgar only had uh, two floors, I think also the USS Nautilus only has two floors. This one has three. So if we actually have a quick look here. So most of these floors, most of these floors have actually got three kind of block height. Uh, I think actually maybe all of them are, have actually, yeah. So the middle one as well has another three blocks. And so does the bottom one, at least in the main middle section. Though to make it a lot bigger, you might want to, you know, build the floor up and I just have a really small section at the bottom. Um, so it is a little bit bigger, um, so I'm just going to fly over the tutorial area while talking to you guys and kind of what you can expect from the tutorial. So I've got it in two colors at the minute. I've got it in the black and I've also got it in the gray. Um, so you guys can kind of choose what kind of colors you want to make this one out of. Um, and also with the gray one you've got this black stripe that goes all the way back and you could put in, say with the black one here, you could put in a grey stripe going the back, all the way back if you wanted to. Um, I personally prefer the grey because it shows up a lot better, but since it is a submarine it's supposed to be quite you know, dark and everything like that, so it's really up to you. Another thing you can do is put on a slight window here, uh, but that again is up to you. Um, so I'm going to be doing this tutorial in So I'm going to be doing this tutorial in three parts. I'm going to be doing the front, the kind of like front section here, which is a total of 27 blocks. The middle section, which is going to be 17 blocks, and then the biggest section, which is right at the back, which is a total of 50 blocks going all the way back. Um, so what I'm going to be doing these layers, I'm going to be telling you to put in this kind of colored bit here, which will help you guys uh, actually, you know, join these sections together really easily and count back from these sections. Uh, so it is going to be a layer by layer tutorial going all the way back and I'm going to be announcing the layers as I go through the tutorial to make it as easy as possible as well. Uh, if you do use this build on a map or a server just make sure that you credit me for the design itself and that would really help me out and don't upload it to PMC if possible. Um, so let's get started on this build. So what I've done on this one here, I've got it in red and also in white. So for you guys that are wondering why I've done this, the red is where I have my kind of recommended waterline. So this is where I kind of recommend you actually put in or I'll put it in the water. Or if you're building it in the water, you've got eight blocks down. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you can see that that's where the kind of last layer is. So I'm going to be building mine in this red and white kind of color scheme so that you know where the kind of water line will be if you are building it like that. It'll just make it a little bit easier. You can, of course, you know, submerge it, submerge it even more and just kind of drop the layers. Maybe start nine layers down and you'll be on this one or ten layers down you'll be on this one here. You know, it's up to, it's really up to you on how, how submerged you want. You could even just have this top part here, which if you're on eight here, you've got eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 13 or 14 if you just wanted this top section showing. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be starting on the nose section. So I'm going to be doing this in the red wall, of course, but you guys can choose your black or your, your kind of dark gray. Just put down two blocks at the beginning, then go three wide, and this one is going to go back by 11 in total. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then just fill this one in here. It's going to be your base like that. So that's it for number one. Okay, and then for layer number two, what you're going to do is if you come to the front and come forwards just on that block here, and you're going to go forwards by nine, counting this block that you've got here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to have two of these showing, and you have three. So you've got one, two, and three. Your guys are going to be just copying this to the other side. I'll only show you guys how to do it on one side. So. If you get stuck on the other side, just watch watch this kind of part or these sections back and just take your time, uh, maybe even writing down the numbers. So you've got three here, then we're going to have a six, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then you've got eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to kind of come on the inside parts of these and just fill it up. So 
then copy that onto the other side. OK, and we're onto layer number three, so come to the front and come forwards by three blocks in total. And you'll have one that connects onto the side right here. So you've really only got two showing here, but of course it's going forwards by three. This one will be a three in total, so it just fills up that gap. Next one is going to be a three. And they got a six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and an eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then just copy that onto the other side and we'll get onto the next layer. Okay, so we're on to layer number four, so come to the front and come forwards just by one block here. And you have a two, so a two, three, three. And then you're just gonna have this one going all the way back straight over the top. So you've got part of it is uh actually kind of outlining the last layer and the rest is just going straight on top so copy this onto the other side and for layer number five what you're going to do is come to the front place a block right on this front block and just add one to each of the sides like this and now what you're going to do is you're going to have a two so you've just got two here and a three and another three and then this one is just going to outline the last layer so it's just going out one more than we did last layer like that copy this to the other side and for layer number six, come to the front, and what we're going to do is we're going to come forwards by one block, and we're going to have three going across the front, so we're just moving this part here, just across, kind of like forwards by one block. Now we've got a one, a two, a three, and then we're going to outline again. Oh, not outline, this will be slightly on top, sorry. So this one's kind of on top of this part, but it's just coming out on these three here. So it's got three across, one, two, three, and then going straight back like that. So do the same on the other side. Okay, so I didn't realize that layers 6, 7, and 8 are the same. So all you need to do is just add an extra two blocks to the last layer. This will give you a kind of main bulk of the middle. So just build this all up to a total height of 3. So you've got 1, 2, and 3. And we'll get on to the next layers. Okay, so we're now on to layer number 9. So if you guys have kind of made your water line on this red one, we're actually going on to the white layer here. So I'm going to switch to white wool, uh, obviously you guys will be the same colour as whatever you've chosen for these two. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to come inwards here and just have a three, just like this. And then we're going to have a two, two sets of three, so we've got three and a three. And the next one is just right on top of this last layer like this. So I'm pretty sure that this one is pretty much mirrored. There you go, you can see the actual layer underneath, which is just basically copying and being flipped on to this side. There might be some minor differences though, so just copy this onto the other side as well. Okay, and we're on to layer number 10, so what you're going to do is you can have one block right on top of this part, just like we did how down here like this. So that one there, and then we're going to have a two, and a three, one, two, and three. Another set of three, one, two, three, and then we're going to have 15, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. There's just going to be two blocks right on the top part here. So you've got this bit kind of on the inside, and then you've just got two here. So do the same on the other side. Okay, and now for layer number 11, so what you need to do is just come to the inside here, and you're just going to have a two. And you have four sets of three. So you've got one, two, three, one, two, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Now what you're going to do is there is a stripe on the submarine here, as you can see. Uh, so when I've used it out of the grey wool, I've actually put a black stripe. I was meant to actually put in a grey stripe on this one, I just forgot about it. But if you do the black sub, I recommend using the grey. If you're doing the grey sub, I recommend using the black. Um, I'm just going to use the colour I've got in my hand, which is light grey wool. So just pull this one all the way back, just to that point there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build the fins. So just off this three, just after this coloured part, what we're going to do is add four blocks. So you've got one, two, three, four. The next one, one, two, three, four, and the next one, one, two, and three. So I think the actual fins on this one are actually supposed to be completely straight. But it doesn't look quite right on Minecraft. It always looks better if you just add or take out a block on this part. Um, and also when you do the other side here, so I just put in these three blocks. All you need to do to finish with this layer is just add in one block here, which will be when we're starting to move move backwards and the kind of layers get bigger. Um, so just do that on the other side, and we'll get on to the next layer. Okay, and for layer number 12, what you're going to do is just on this inside part, go here and just do a 2. So you're just covering up this part, and I'm going to go back to the side that I've actually been teaching from. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have a 3, so you've got 1, 2, 3. Next one is 2, so you've got 1, 2. Next one you're going to have a 4, so you've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the last one is just going to outline, not outline, uh, over, overlay the last layer, so just 
going on top of that strip. So do the same on the other side. I'll actually be doing this with you because there's a bit more to this layer. So you've got three, and then you've got two, and then you've got four, one, two, three, four, then straight on top like this. And now what you need to do is if we count these two blocks here, we're going to go back by eight. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you're going to have a one. So you've got one here, and then another one. And there's going to be a two just on this point. This is going to be the easiest way I can kind of figure out of doing it. Um, just because the bits, other bits are kind of set on top. So you've got these kind of bits here joining in together. You get one, one, and then these parts here, and then just fill these in solid. So hopefully you haven't got stuck with that. And then just on the end part here, come in by one block and have just four blocks. So you get one, two, three, and four. So on the other side, one, two, three, and four. Just like that, and that finishes up that layer. Okay, and then for layer number 13, it's pretty easy this one. So all you're going to do this time is basically just cover up this top layer now. So just making sure that there isn't any holes in it. So just fill this all in. Just keep on going from this. And there's just one extra bit where, from this front block that you've got here, just leave a two block gap. So you've got one, two. And there's just going to be two blocks that go straight up like that. So then just fill this in. And we will be done with the front section and we'll be going on to the mid section. So there you go. So what I recommend after you've done this now is grab some sort of colored block. And if we just put this one right in the middle here, this will at least tell us that we've got this layer here. And I usually put one on the bottom as well. Not there. So I've just got one on the bottom and one on the top. And this will just be a marker to say that's where the kind of front section is. So now we'll get on to the mid section. Okay, so the middle section for the sub is the easiest out of all of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys what you need to do. Uh, basically, what you've got is you've got three, two, two, one, two, three, four, five, and six. This one here is going to be one, two, and three. So we do the same on the other side, and this is just going to be joined across, so I'm going to have to switch my wool to the other colour, but what you're doing, just doing this outline, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 2, and again I've done the wall wrong, there. So what you should have is just add an extra section, which if you start from the bottom, 3, 2, 2, and so it'll be directly on the same level, then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This one's the only one that's different, which you've got to a total height of 3, and then go across. And all you're going to do with this layer is, that's going to be number 1, and uh, this goes back by 17, so you've already got 1, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And you're just going to drag all of those blocks back by a total of 17, so the middle section is super super easy, so just drag those all back to the same kind of level and then what we'll do is we'll put in this top section here. Okay, so I've just noticed a slight mistake on this build. Um, it's actually not 17 going back, it's 19. So it's exactly the same, just add an extra two blocks going around just to the end of this part. And then we'll get on to the next kind of part. And same again, now that you've got this 19 section, which you should have just extended it a little bit, we're going to put down our blue wall again. I'm just going to use this entire strip like that. And also the bottom three ones here, I'm just going to put in the light blue wall. So if you grab your, your kind of main hole color, we're going to start on this tower. So where I put down that first kind of block right there, uh, you guys should have it either you know somewhere on this strip, which is the first section. Just place, place the block on top, and then you're going to have this one here, then you have one. A 2, then a 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there should be 5 across the back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 2, and then a 1. So that's the first layer. And the next layer, you're going to come in by one block, and you're going to have 1, 2, and then a 3, 1, 2, 3. The next one is 10, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I just have one, one, and then one will just end up here. And this one here, you're just going to fill in with a block like that. So I do the same on the other side. So you've got two, 
and a 3, 1, 2, 3, then 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you have 1 and a 1 just to finish it up and put a block in just in this part. What you can actually do as well if you want to is just cut out this kind of top part of the sub um, so that you can actually kind of see exactly how much space that you've got and that you should be able to get in this tower section two floors in but they'll be too high so you can either have you know two floors in or you can have a bigger kind of uh, just front kind of section so let's go on to the next one okay so for the next one what you're going to do is you're going to have this block here so it's just going to be straight on top of that one so you can have this one here then you have a six one two three four five and six and then the next one is going to be eight, so you're going to just come out to this point here and go eight. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you're going to come inwards, you're going to have a two, and then just a one at the end. So we just do that on the same on the other side. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you're going to place the blocks right. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you should just have these two blocks here. Block here that you're just adding on the kind of lower layer, you'll just be filling that in. And also on the back, there's an extra one here just like that and we'll get onto the next layer okay and the next layer what we're going to do is we're going to come back by one block yet again so you've just got this one block back here now we're going to have 14 so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and then just a 2 on the back part here so let's pull this one here so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 not 14 I must have miscounted there so that just finishes off that layer and the next two these are going to be straight on top of this one here. So it's got another two here, and this one's going to be 14 again. So you can just double this up again. And there's only one difference that instead of it being this two here, it's just got a one at the back. So just double this all up. And I'll keep going around. Just like that, and then just fill in this roof as well. So this is the top of the sub. So you've got that. Grab your iron bars and just Put these going, make these kind of go all the way around the actual build. Not in the way that I'm doing them currently, just, yeah, there we go, just pull these around like this. And then the place where I actually put in my uh, trapdoor and ladder is right, not there, right here. And I had my, I always have my ladder going down this back part here. So I'll have the ladder going down here, going all the way down. Um, so you could just pull this want it to so that you've got a kind of reference for when you come to do the interior you've got actually got your kind of main uh, kind of way out and here I just put my ladder up and then put the trap door on as well so you put your trap door on here and then you've got a way to get inside the sub which is a lot bigger than I remember it being um, so now we're just going to do the slight detail on the top and move on to the last section Okay, so for the antennas, I use never brick fence for this because it's a lot darker, so just leave a one block gap from your uh, trapdoor here and just go up by two and then bring one of these back, leave another block gap and just have a one like this. Next one go up by four, so you get one, two, three, and four. And on the third one, just add an extra one going to each side. And then for the next one, I actually put down a full block like this, go up by a total height of three like this. And actually, I think I moved this one forward. So if you actually leave a two block gap and go to this part here, and then go up two, three, and then one going back like this, and then just add a couple extra just on the front and the sides like that, and that will give you your antennas. Um, and that's it for the front section and the middle section. We've now got the kind of biggest part of it, but it's not too bad. It's mainly just kind of moving inwards, just kind of gently on the end. So let's do this. Okay, and now for the last section, so this is the longest section, so what we're going to do is just off this three here, we're just going to go back by 31, so you're going to add 31 blocks, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and you're just going to have 1, so if you just bring the other side back as well, so you've got 1, 2, 3, da, 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 It'll be the same as the other side, so you don't need to count this one too much. Just like that, and then fill in the floor. Solid, like this. 
just like that, and we will get onto the next layer. Okay, so for layer number two, what you need to do is, if we just grab from these two, these are going to be exactly the same pretty much for this layer, but we're just going to grab the outside. So we're going to go back by 29, so we're going to add 29 blocks. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Should be two blocks short. As you can see that it's two blocks short of the last one. And now we're just going to go inwards and we're going to have three. So you get one, two, and three. And then you have one and then a two. And just do this on the other side. And all you need to do is just fill in these ones. So I'll just show you what I mean. It's just kind of extending the back layer and just filling up those gaps. So do it to the other side. And I'll show you what to do next for this layer. Okay, and then once you've done that on both sides, what you're going to do is we're going to set up for the actual rudder underneath the, uh, the main propeller here. So I'm just going to use my light blue wall blocks to actually count. So with eight blocks, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And what we're going to do is just add three blocks. So you've got one, two, three, and that's the bottom of the rudder itself right there. Um, so let's get on to the next layer. And for layer number three, what you need to do is just go 28 blocks. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Just like that. So it'll be one short of the last layer. And you have three, so you got one, two, and three. And then number three, one, two, and three, and two, and then two right on the end. And again, just come on the inside like this, and just add a couple of blocks. And on the rudder part, just add four, so you get one, two, three, and four. So it just goes towards this kind of main ship, just by one block like that. Do the same on the other side, and we'll go on to the next layer. Okay, and for layer number four, what you need to do is go 29 blocks. So it'll just be one more than the last layer. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. So just one more. Just like that, then you've got five, one, two, three, four, five. Next one is a three, so you've got one, two, three, two, and another two, just like that. And then on top of this one, you've just got four again. So you've just got one block gap. Do the same on the other side as well, and then fill in these gaps, just like normal, and we'll go to the next layer. And for layer number five, what we're going to do is you're going to go 28 blocks, so again, it's going to be one short, this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So it's just one short of that one there. And you're going to have a 6. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. You've got two sets of 3. 1, 2, 3, and another 3. 1, 2, and 3. And you've got a 1, and then you're going to have a 5, which will just go on top of this here. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So then, again, fill in the holes that you've kind of got left and go around on the other side, and I'll show you what to do just for this back part. And then if you come to the back, what you're going to do is you're just going to leave a one block gap. So you're going to have a one block gap here, here and you're going to have three wide like this, and you just have a three by three box, which is part of the uh, kind of enclosed uh, propeller, which kind of helps it be more stealthy. So that's just the bottom part of that, and we'll get on to the next few layers. Okay, so we're now on to layer number six. So we've got 33 blocks. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. And then what you've got is a three, so you've got one, two, three, and then a four, one, two, three, four, and then a one, and then you've got a six, one, Two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to go out for three. So you've got one, two, and three, which is going to be part of this here. So if we just do this on the other side, I'll show you what to do kind of on the back part. Okay, so once you've done it on both sides, all you need to do is on this back section, I just put in a block here just to cover up this part, but keeping this part free because this is where your rotors are going to go. Okay, so we're now on to layer number seven, which is 35. So it's going to be two blocks longer than the last layer, so if we just drag this one back to here, so this is 33, then we've got 34, 35, so it's just two past, just like that, and then what we're going to have is we have two sets of three, so you've got one, two, three, one, two, three, and the next one is a five, one, two, three, four, five, and the next one's one, which just goes in here, and then the next one is just on top, so again, just kind of cover up this part here, 
Uh, we'll actually take this one out in a second, but let's do it the same on the other side, and then we'll get onto the next part for this layer. Okay, and once you've done it on the other side as well, what you're going to do is just cut out this block here and put in an iron block. And then all you're going to do is just add an extra iron block coming forward, so you're going to have two pieces of gold, and then just build a diagonal kind of four propeller, uh, four prop uh, propeller like that. Um, and then you can bring this one back a little bit if you wanted to, so that when you do get into this, this area as you're kind of engineering, you can actually connect this in somehow. I always just pull it back just like that. And then what we're going to do is, if we come to this side part right here, we're actually going to add on the side uh, fins right here. So you're just going to add five to this one. One, two, three, four, five. The next two are going to be five as well. So you get one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you got three totaling of five. And the next one is four. One, two, three, four. So do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. And then a four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And we'll get on to the next layer. Okay, so for layer number eight, this one is 33. So it'll be too short of the last layer. So you got just drag this one all the way back. And then just make sure it's too short so it'll be in line with this bottom layer that we've got here. We have a three, so you're going to come on the inside and go one, two, three. Next one is four, one, two, three, and four. And a one, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Just like that, and then these ones are straight on top. And you can also go across this part here and then just do the same on the other side. And we'll get on to the next layer, which should be out of the water. Okay, and for layer number nine, what you're going to be doing, you're actually going to be out the water now. So you're going to have 28 blocks off this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Just like that. And then you've got a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The next one is going to be a 3. So you've got 1, 2, 3, and another 3. 1, 2, and 3, and then a 1, and then a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which will just cover up this kind of back part and then what you're going to do just for this top part is just come over and have a three by three box just to cover up that last kind of section and it just encapsulates this propeller like that so copy it onto the other side and we'll do the next layer and for layer number 10 what we're going to do is we're just going to have one block here then we're going to go inwards already so we've got this one here so carrying this block we're going to go back by 28 so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. And then come inwards and you've got a 5, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next one is a 3, so you've got 1, 2, 3, and then a 2. And then a 2, just to finish up here. You'll notice that you've got this one block here, and just on the last layer we need to just connect that up in there. And then do the same on the other side, and we'll go into the next layers. And one to layer number 11, so what you're going to do is just up this one, you're going to add 28 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And then if you come in, you've got three, one, two, three, and another three, one, two, three, and then two, and then another two, which will just give you these two boxes here. And just like we did in the last layers, we're just going to put in an extra one on the last layers, do the same on the other side, and we'll go on to the next layer. And before I forget, we'll just finish off the rudder. So you've got three sets of four just on top of this. So you've got one, two, three, and then just a three to finish off the back rudder like that. And for layer number 12, what you're going to do is you're going to have a one here, and then you're going to go on in the inside. And this is going to be a 28. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So that and a 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, and then a 2, just like that. And then again, just filling in these gaps and do the same on the other side. And we've got about two layers left, so you're doing really well, guys. Okay, now for layer number 13, what you need to do is just go from here and add 24 blocks. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then go on the inside and have 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 2, and then a 2, just like this. And then again, just on the last layer, just fill in those gaps, do the same on the other side, and we'll get onto the last layer. And now we're on to the last layer, so what you're going to do is just add four blocks here, one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to go inwards, don't worry about this empty space, we'll sort that all out in a second. 
And counting this plot, we're going to go back by 20. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then there's just going to be a 2 just right on the end like this. So then just do the same on the other side. Just bring this one all the way back. And you got 1, 2, 3, 4. And then just make this the bits in between this layer just completely solid. Just like this. And then these ones are just going to be on the last layer. It's just easier to do it this the way that I've kind of showed it at least. So there we go. So then bring this one back as well. And also on the other side. And there you go. So that's pretty much done the sub. So well done on completing the Astute class submarine that's used by the Royal Navy, the attack submarine that we've currently got. Um, so hopefully you guys haven't struggled with this one at all. Submarines are probably the easiest out of all of my tutorials to go through. Um, just because they're very simple and they're also in really neat sections as well. Uh, so the only other thing you can really do that I did on one of mine at least is just put in a couple of pieces of glass. And the place I did this is just right in here. Let's put in a, piece of, a couple of pieces of glass right in like that so it's really up to you it's not on the real sub but it just kind of adds a little bit more to it um, also with this front piece there's not really that much room to actually put in you know your uh, your actual torpedoes if you wanted to but you can put one in the front uh, if you need some interior design ideas on this one check out my Trafalgar class submarine part 2 which I just say a walkthrough of the smaller one uh, though, because this one has three floors, you can do a lot more of it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.